continue recording. This is part two of the recording for the Fruit Loops University live production training. And today we're going to be studying Fruity Loops, um, specifically songwriting, tricks and tips, and whatever else that anyone might have a question about. So I started writing uh, just a brief idea. All right, and what I did is just pick three basic drums. I used the FPC and I also explained how the FPC functions with two banks, 16 pads, and virtually unlimited layering capability. So you can make, you can put 20 kicks on top of each other, 20 snares, and you can create your own sound. Matter of fact, I encourage you, anyone who uh, has learned from me on BeatClass.com uh, knows that the reason why we're ahead of the pack is because we teach actual uh, music production, the same type of production that producers use in the industry. So we're not just teaching you a bunch of facts. We're showing you proven techniques that are done on records every single day in the music industry. So that's the difference between bclass.com and everybody else that's following after us. Alright? Alright, so now we got our kicks. Um, I always, because I'm just a stickler, I try and make each sound my own. So I'm going to go ahead and tune it. Alright. Just a little bit. Sometimes a subtle change is more important than a big, big, drastic change. Okay? That's un just enough to make your music sound unique. And sometimes we think we have to, you know, make everything so, so drastic, but it's not really that important to, do, to go that far. You know, you don't have to go all out like that. Alright. And I'm going to close this out one more time. Make sure I can get my MIDI functioning. This is actually pretty good. Because if you can see here, got a generic MIDI controller, but th there's no input showing up. So we have to figure out what's going on with that. Okay, so I just plugged it in. And I'm still not getting any MIDI control. So I'm going to reboot. Fruity Loops and we're not seeing it show up in the input so we have to do something to get it to show up isn't that right usually what will happen is it may show up in if not control panel we can go to my computer go to properties and go to hardware device manager and let's see what exactly is going on with the MIDI controller. And I don't see it. That might be why. Alright. So then we can go to control panel, add hardware. Let's see if we can look for it that way. And the last resort is I'll do a reboot on the computer and we'll take it from there. We'll try that. All right, I have it already connected. I'm telling you right now, it's not going to find it. Plug and play monitor, generic, generic volume, and I don't see it. Okay, cancel. Alright, so we're going to do a reboot. Those who are watching the broadcast, hang tight. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. 